Hello and good morning everyone. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat just did a little hiccup there. How is everyone doing? I hope you are well. You know, feel free to let me know how you're doing. Um, I don't ask just to ask wide open spaces. Um, we're here in my C block rustic waters world. Hello, Darth. And um, I've made some changes to my automated strainer sluice setup. I don't remember showing you last time. I don't remember when I did this, is the point. So <laughs> I wanted to show you what I did real quick. I moved the sand, gravel, and dirt drawer closer to the sluice, and then I have I have it just pulling out of that drawer into the automated user. The other automated user that's the water is on the other side. There's the tank. And then I have the output just going down into this chest. And then outside in the water, I have um, item pipes that go out and up to a chest outside of this one, a crate right there. And then I have an item duck with a retriever on it, blacklisting the three items that don't go into the furnace, these three items. That's as far as I've gotten. I could try to figure out how to get those over here. I tried a couple of ways and it just, it wasn't working for me. So for now, this is the way it's gonna work and I know in our near future we will have a better way of doing the sluicing. So we're just gonna, gonna work our way towards that. I do have a couple of uh, strainer meshes in here so they'll be able to keep making the raw materials for time. So that's what I've done there. I have also relocated the coke oven up to the second floor right here. And you see, I've done some cold coke, but there's no creosote, and that is because I've done some questing. <laughs> I didn't submit anything, so we have a bunch of thing, a bunch of quests to claim. But I did all of the quests related to embers to get to the reservoir, and down here outside is a reservoir. I don't have like a fluid, um, the gauge. I don't have a fluid gauge on here, clearly, but there is creosote in there. You can even see it. Check it out. There's creosote in there. <laughs> and you can see the back side of my setup for sluicing here as well. So yeah, I did the second, the third floor. Remember this was all just one high, it looked like that. So now I have three floors. Don't have a whole lot, I don't have anything in the third floor and I have very little on the second floor. But um, that is the current look of the beginnings of our factory. Um, yeah. I don't have anything on the other side I recall. Nope. So there you go. That's what I have so far as building is concerned. Um, and let's open this quest book. I will show you in the, the um, auto sluice void mining. I did this whole set. So these nine we needed to make the ember activator. This is to actually create ember power. An emitter is what sends the ember to a receptor so it receives and then the middleman is a relay so it can relay ember to other receptors from an emitter then i made tanks these are the smaller tanks they hold 16 buckets hi darkwing and we needed it in order to make the reservoir multi-block that i just showed you um then we have a fluid extractor you need a lever on top of that in order to make it work and then this is the reservoir. So the reservoir is a multi-block structure. When you place it, it takes up a three by th three by one. And then you need to put, um, this provides input and output ports. I couldn't get these to work and I'll explain, show you what I did in a second. So I'm not sure why I couldn't, but anyway. And then 
the rings that expend it. Each ring adds 250 buckets worth of fluid capacity, so this they, the reservoir can hold a lot, right? So I did all those on my own. Um, I have all of the resulting supplies in here, other than the reservoir that I put up. But uh, before we claim those, so I have, um, I made a mechanical, um, this guy, a mechanical, what is it? Mechanical core. This gives you other in access points to the multi-block structures in Embers. And you can see here I've got the uh, um, lever and then this is the extractor and the fluid pipes. I first had that hooked up to these valves and nothing happened. I had this exact same setup, but um, it was close enough that all I had was the valve. So I'm wondering if maybe I just need to have it one further out so I could have a pipe going into a valve. Anyway, I was like, okay, it's not working. We're gonna just move it up and use the mechanical core to give us further access. That's, that works for me, it's not a big deal. What we could do eventually if we really need this creosote slap a ender tank on this i guess so we can then access the creosote everywhere right now i don't need it but yeah we've got that um so let's come submit those quests that i did here the ember activator the emitter the receptor a relay it didn't detect it huh it says it's oh it's choice award hmm I don't know how to make lumium so we'll do that lumium or money 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 is nice Ammonite levers bone meal and a trash void yay all right, so let's put uh, we'll put the trash void in there for now. Walmart wallet. <laughs> All right. Lumium. Oh, here. Lumium is tin, silver, glowstone, which we don't have a whole lot of. We'd have to go back to the nether, which we need to have better gear before I'm going back to the nether, because we were getting hot really fast. Mm -mm -mm. So we have all those done, and this is the one I am currently working on. Steel scaffolding. We need 30. <laughs> we get an expansion key in order when we finish this one. Uh, steel scaffolding is in the blacksmith workshop with a bunch of solder and steel rods. You make two per crafting, so we need to do this 15 times. 15 times 9 is how many rods I'm going to need. And we can do four craftings with one bucket of solder. So I'm going to need four buckets of solder. See where I'm going with that? So I have, I think I have all the steel rods I need. Let's find out. Seven. Of course I did that quite, not quite right. Um, that does seven, right? Eight. We might need a little bit more steel. Let's make some. Oh, I have... Oh, it's iron. Okay. So, working on the solder, I made the wire, and I think that's in a... Is that in a blacksmith's... 
The bucket of solder is in an engineer's. Engineers. And we need a solderer, which it does not look like we have one in here, is it? Yes. Okay. So there's one. Two. Four. That should be enough. Okay, so we've got 14 there. Hello, Infinite. Nice to see you. 16. We need 30, so we need to do definitely need the steel more steel rods. But we should have enough solder. So we've got steel going there. I know I have some steel in here. And so we need to make the rods. Um of course it's sorted. Which is plates. Okay. Hey nuggets! Let's have you make 32. Base is looking good. Yep, I've got three floors over here. And we're about to get another key. So I'm going to use that key to unlock this side over here. And we unlocked this one last time, but I haven't, I don't know what to do with it because we don't even have everything. We don't even have these three floors filled up. So. Yeah, I can show you from the outside because I have night vision. So there we go. That's the outside three tiers. Got the vents on the top. And then I did um, fans on the bottom. And then on this side, we've got a bit of things sticking out here to do our sluicing and the creosote tank. So, yay. I am further along than RB, though. So, to be fair, I don't know if RB plans on doing any building. Or if he's just going to utilize what's already accessible to him. So... I left the sea lantern here. This was the height of the previous the previous structure. I hate this dripping, but I don't like having a ring around there. So it's just the ring that's dripping. I can't break it just yet um, since I don't have silk touch. So I wanted to leave it alone for now. But yeah, we've got little things here and there. I want to make it look kind of cluttered. I don't want big wide open spaces, which is why I took this one room and broke it into three rooms, which I could break it up even further if I wanted to. How are we doing? Okay. All right, so I was waiting for the rat to do the steel. Well, I have... Uh, see, that's a thought. I could do slabs. I don't know what slabs I would want. What kind of slabs. Right now I have it so it looks beveled, kind of rounded, because it, we're underwater so we're having to deal with high water pressure. I'm trying to do somewhat realistic thought process here. And rounding things makes things stronger than having corners. <laughs> so... That is kind of why I made it kind of rounded there and kind of making it an illusion of being rounded corners. That's why I did that. And so I'd have to put slabs on top of this layer. These Tyrian blocks. So I don't know. It's worth thinking about. And right now I don't know. Yeah, my bot is slow. <laughs> Uh, see, but with stairs, we'd have that water glitch. 
and I'm not so sure. I don't even know what kind of stairs I would use. It'd look weird, because remember, it, you can't do fill the... So we'd have that flip, weird water-looking problem. All right. Anyway. I don't mind the dripping in the hallways, actually. But I just don't like it in the main rooms. This pack would be way cooler then. <laughs> You're right. Just don't have that many mods in 114 to do that. Um, do we do this in the blacksmiths? Yes. We're gonna make all of these. Why did you not make? Oh, did it break something? Um, it needs the hammer, and we don't have a hammer, so let's make a hammer. Hammer. Um. Steel hammer. All right, let's put it in here. And that, there's 10 more. We need 30, so we need four, which is two more recipes. So we need some more of those. There we go. And there's a tiny bit of solder left in here, so let's take it out. There we go. All right, can we put you in there? Yeah, leave the solder wire in there. I don't need it. So that gives us the other expansion hub. Woo, key. Key number three. Ready? Woo! And these are exactly the same, so clearly I'll be redoing them, which, however I decide to do that. But, um, yeah. There's that. The only one we have left, and bef I probably... No, nah, he's just sitting, so I'll be able to expand it. I just have to move this stuff here. We just don't have, we don't have the factory running stuff to need more space at this point right now. But yay for quest completion. That feels good. So that's done. Um, today there are a couple of things. I noticed this is unlocked for making a bucket. So we're going to claim treasure because why not? This is to make some portable tanks and then reservoirs. Um, somewhere I saw... I see it. Here, the tools of the trade. This. A thermometer. A personal thermometer regulator, which is once we do this little three-step chain, will assist in keeping your body temperature normalized. Activate it in your hot bar and it will assist in raising or lowering your body heat. Now I'm going to assume that it takes power, but yeah, that would be really awesome. <laughs> so I'm I don't know how far we want to go. This is a little bit t um, time intensive. We got to make the cooling goo and the heating goo and the wires and the daylight sensors and some plates. But uh, so I'm considering that. Let's open a treasure chest. Why? Why no? Why no open? There it goes. Got viaducts, but water chestnuts and petro petroleum. So we'll put that and that in there. Seed in here. The uh, scaffolding we don't quite need just yet. But uh, yeah, so today there are a couple of things we could do. We could probably make the supplies to finish this. We can't actually set up 
the metal press because we don't have power, but we could finish this tab very likely today by completing all, making all of the things. So there's that thought to see how far we can get to making this. I know we can make these two blocks. So there's that thought. And then we could upgrade our diving gear to the reinforced. And then I would like to do this over here. Yes. The Ember Ore Factory. This is what will upgrade our sluice. So this thing will become something that is run on Ember, which is why I did all those Ember quests on my own. It'll be running on Ember and it will do what the sluice does here. Now I know I just set this up, but I don't quite know how the Ember Ore Factory works. So I'm, I think there'll be enough space to put it here, but I don't know. So that's what we're gonna, we're gonna work on towards that today. The other option is, um, let's go and actually press the right button. Is this task over here? No, this one here. Creating mechanical power. And I think when we get to the end here, yeah, you make the Ember Boar, which in this pack you can get um, ores and stuff from the Ember Boar, not just Ember, like you can with the mod itself. So it's been modified there. So there's that step, which I, you know, we can, this is the chapter we're spending our time in today. That's, that's the point I'd like to make. <laughs> We're gonna, I'd like to start over here though, cause this is the sluicing and then maybe come over here and do some of the figuring out the ember bore. So yeah. The ember ore factory is an upgrade to your manual sluicing system. It is much quicker than a sluice and a slightly better chance to extract ores. The machine is a multi-block structure made using the modularium alloy. Uh, shift right click the blueprint in your hand to view its diagram. You can also use the icons on the blueprint to get different views. Darkwing wants to know what about producing energy. The first energy in this pack is mechanical energy and embers. Those are the first two power options for machines. So this is the direction we're going with the ember ore factory. We're going to need to produce ember power to run it. The Ember Boar, I believe here it teaches you how to do mechanical power. Um, it says one of them is using an Ember water pump, a steam boiler, and a steam engine. The other, more compact way, is to use the Ember mechanic. So it's teaching you how to get towards, you know, axles, gearboxes, that sort of thing. So yeah, we're, we're heading towards some power. It's just not RFFE whatever are the stuff we're used to. <laughs> so normal item input is a hopper and some modularium. Um, I made a bunch of modularium. Mod you. We have 87 left. I'm pretty sure I have a hopper. Okay. And that was in here. input oh all the machines they all look the same um go back to the quest book you it needs cutters maybe that's the issue there's no cutters in there there we go so that's done we get the machine blueprint so there's the Ember Ore Factory, what it looks like when it's all built. So... We need a machine controller, 8K9 bricks, a normal item input, a normal item uh, output. We made the input. Five Ember heat lamps, a huge Ember input, and a normal fluid input hat. 
fluid. I wonder what kind of fluid... Oh, it probably accepts the water that we're using because it's a sluice replacement. All right. I wonder how hot it gets. These ember heat lamps, I might actually um, generate heat. So I'll have to keep that in mind as well. All right. Next. A normal item input. Did we just make this? The multi-block requires an input hatch and an output hatch. Each piece has six slots for sand, gravel, dirt, or the resulting ore is produced. Items can also be piped in and out of the hatches. Okay. Let's not be the same thing that we just made. Oh, because we made the output. We need to make a normal input that, which is with a chest modularium. Okie dokie. Chest. We got those. We went dungeon crawling, so we have a decent amount of them. I have not completed that one dungeon, though, so I have to go back and finish that. Not done. So, got some money. And then we need to make the heat lamps. We need six of them. Uses ember energy and water. Um, these require those magma shards. Hey, rocket pants! And caimanite plants. If we need six of them, we're going to need 24 magma shards and 30 caimanite plates. So let's do wallet. Put our money away. And then we need to see what caimanite we need. We have enough caimanite plates. The magma shards I doubt we have. And those are charcoal. Okay. We've been making charcoal. I should probably get some more going. Blocks of charcoal. Right? Yes. We need 12 blocks of charcoal. So definitely need more charcoal. Um, let's go grab some wood so we can get it running. Woohoo! And then, do I have a flint? Spell it right. I do have several. Um, let's take the ones that are mostly broken. And I think I can do these all at once. Yep. Okay, so I gave us 14. And what, where do we need to make these in there? Heat lamps. These need to be made in the blacksmith's workshop. There, that'll make sure we only make six of them. Not that we're going to have a lot. There's a start. So then we need more charcoal, which I may end up just taking all this stuff out. Uh, how many more did we need? I want to say three, but I'm not 100% sure. Or, no, we needed more than that. This will make, we needed... There's five, we need two more sets of magma shards. One, two. All right, so the rest of this can go to be making more charcoal. All right. Now, there is a way to automate that, the making stuff like this in world. All right, so we need a trowel, and that's it. So there's a trowel. 
There we go. Six heat lamps. Get some super hot drinks. And then the inputs. You will need to place an ember receptor on the emitter input, the ember input, which we've made, I made those off camera. Link the receptor to your ember emitter and feed water into the fluid input. Using the blueprint as a guide, assemble the factory multi-block, attach, and start sluicing. Woo! So we might end up tearing down what I just put together with the sluice earlier. <laughs> Who knows? Um, so that we can try to figure this one out. Which I would be fine. It will fit there. Um, in the blueprint, where is the input hatch? It's... It's one of these two, isn't it? Oh, we might be able to do that with the upper, so I wouldn't have to move that. I think we'll see. That's the only thing I'm concerned about, because I don't want to have to move these around. If I can use this upper and just point it into one of the input blocks, then we can move all of this and reset it so that it'll work for the new machine. All right. We need a huge ember input, which is a receptor in the modularium. Receptor in the modularium. Huge ember input. And then we needed a mystical mechanical input. Winding gears, which we have. And that goes here. Okay. We get an ember receptor back, the one we used for the recipe. And then it moves on to the ember bore. Um, so let's see what else we need to make this. Here are the current supplies. And we need one machine. We need the machine controller, the Caymanite bricks. We have the output and input for items. We have the ember heat lamps. In fact, we have one extra. And we have the ember input. So we need to make the fluid hatch, machine controller, and the Caymanite bricks. So let's do the fluid hatch it was a normal fluid hatch we can convert the mystical mechanical input into it <laughs> um I don't think that had anything in there was no need for that in the recipe for this so let's just do that normal fluid input hatch all right um, we I think we needed two. No, these two are next to each other. Gotcha. All right. Apparently I completed another quest somewhere. <laughs> and then we needed, what, eight Caymanite bricks. Caymanite bricks. We have 18. Great. We need the machine controller, right? Yes. Machine controller. Okay. Conductance coil. We need to make it is copper and a wiring kit. Do we have any wiring kits? No, so we need to make some of those. We have any of the redstone wire? Nope, let's 
<laughs> Let's get this going here. So we need to make this redstone wire, wire cores first. So treated, we have a couple sticks. We need to make the slabs. I think the slabs are in here. Maybe not. Okay. And then we need redstone. That doesn't seem... Yeah, that's not right. Let's do this. There we go. That gives us two. And then... Wire ink hit needs aluminum wire. Aluminium wire, which I don't know why I have the solder on me. Um, I think this is done in here. With cutters that I don't see there. Worth guessing, I guess. Oh, because it, it's the engineer's workshop. Okay. We'll do eight. And then the wiring. Make two of, right? Yep. Get some of the inventory cleared. Okay, we needed two buttons, two buttons, and then which coil? Conductance. We have transmission, so conductance was copper. Okay, so we should be able to make this now. Great, so we have that. I think we have everything. So since this is currently not running, should we tear it down and try to build our new one? Free up some space. Oops. Um. You. I don't think there's anything. Oh, we need to pick up the the, the mini. No, we need. Oh, I spent all that time this morning trying to make this work, and now we're just going to tear it apart. <laughs> um, I expect some water at some point to come in because I've got a few spots that are open to the back to the water. Like the one there. Um... The one that's behind this is always on, which we want to turn you off so you don't do anything. Okay, and then we can pick up that 
We have other things back here, but so far, so far that's what we've got. Um, we won't need this anymore. So we're going to pull you that away. All right. Now there is a way to display this sneak to freeze the current preview to be able to preview in world. Um Ah. Can I rotate you? Because that's the back. And you aren't rotating. Right click to place the preview, move away from the placed one, or open another structure to remove. It's... Hmm... It doesn't rotate, does it? Because what we want it the other way around. So I might just have to manually... Yeah... I don't know how I got rid of it before. Anyway... Can we... Go to... This is the bottom. So if we did... Um... Two, three, four... And I'm already hot. Good to know. Inventory is full. I'm already hot. All that fun stuff. Need to eat. Don't need the modularium anymore. And we'll put the receptor in there for now. Alright, and then... The next one is fluids, items, and that's going to be a challenge. I wonder if I can... Hmm. So that will be a problem. I'll need to use conduits instead of a hopper because this one is fluid here and this is items. And then are the rest of those caimanite bricks? Those two are caimanite. Okay, and then the top is a heat lamp, ember thingamajigger, and the rest of Caimanite. Embers there, and heat lamp there, and the rest of this is Caimanite. All right, so there's that. And it's created. We put the blueprint in here. Missing input item. Well, yeah, I don't have items going in there right now. 
All right, so step one, let's get the water moved so that it's actually going into the, um, the water's going in. Um, and the fluid thing is back there. And it's up, we need to move it down one. I think I might use money and do the fluid pipes that I have. I've already purchased them, haven't I? No, I haven't purchased the fluid ones. Or I can just move it down and use a funnel. <laughs> um, place is getting crowded. It says I could walk away and that blueprint will stop displaying. Alright, we've walked away as far as I can actually get right now. And it's gone. Okay, good. Alright, so let's go outside. Let's grab some... I've got four blocks that I used on the outside. <laughs> And uh, we don't need the sluice anymore. We don't need those. We don't need that extra lamp. Okay. Uh, let's go take a look. So first things first. So there's already a funnel here. Um, move it in. We moved that all in one okay I need you and you where did the where did the tank go There it goes. There it is. Alright. I know I'm flooding stuff in there. I know there's just water going everywhere. <laughs> Oops. I forgot I'm not wearing my diving gear, so I don't have don't have the time. Let's put you back on. Goodness. Okay, back. This way. Just to get the... Okay, so the fluid is one down here. The funnel there and the hopper on top. Whoop. Like so. And then we can put the water pump here. And then I need to be able to put a lever on it. So if we do glass there and cyan there, we should be able to put a lever on top of that. This needs to go. Do I have the storage space? I do. And we'll get that removed. I have the space for all of this. I think so. Let's go make sure I got everything. It appears. 
appears I did, otherwise we can pick up stuff. Oh, we did pick up stuff. Okay then. Okay. And... We can put that there. So... Great, so there's that. No. I just want to know if you're getting water. <laughs> I suppose I won't know. It doesn't tell me. Okay, so then we need to get these blocks into there. Um, trim, just a bunch of vertical, a bunch of slabs. pack these automatically get taped. Isn't that awesome? So if we put you here and the trim there, that'll connect it. And then we should be able to put an upper here. Do I need to there like that? It's filling. And I need food. Now we just need to get Ember into that spot. And let's get you down. For that we need a receptor there. Um, I think I want to put it on top. Like that. And then we'll put our um, ember, our current ember generation over here. We have to change things up a bit, but uh, because we'll need to be able to put the, the ember shards and the ember, what did you call it, and then we need the rest emitter, and then we're going to need the hammer. Okay. So there's that. Might be a little too close. Okay. Um, there, that's the sound I wanted to hear. And then we should be able to put ember shards in there. Um, we might need to, we need, might need to hover them in. Oh, I'm so hot right now. There it goes. 
And when it has enough, that should send it, right? It's so freaking hot in here. Um, might not be able to see the receiver. That's possible. I might need to put a relay. Only other option I think would be yeah we're definitely going to move stuff around I just want to get this working so let's get the relay and see if we can't get it to see it so and then Like that. Oh, you know what we're missing? Something that every single Ember's machine needs. See, it probably doesn't need the relay now. <laughs> okay, so... It's working! So now we just have to figure out what the heck to do with this output. Does it auto push? Does not appear so. going in. What? Um, because I wasn't thinking it actually needs to be a not an upper crazy me. Um, suppose I'm going to need conduit. See, and I can't remember, with Ember's Rekindle, it says something, this means something. And I don't know what it means. So here's a question. If we move it over one and just use a pipe of the item variety, is it just that the item extractor... Nope, for something something wrong with this spot that I just don't remember I didn't watch the what what these things mean this setup not where we're always going to be because otherwise we're gonna get very hot <laughs> uh. doing homework huh
Okay, so it had coal in there. Why did it have coal in there? And where did my cat my lever go? There it is. There it goes. It just had something stuffed in there. Well, holy smokes, when you get slime balls. Um. Jeez Louise. <laughs> okay, so it's working. Here's the thing. I don't want to leave it in this room because it's making this room really hot and this is the room where I do all my like crafting and um, you know this is where we spend the most space because it's got the storage and it's making this room really hot. So we're gonna need to relocate it and we'll probably include we'll set up maybe more strainers because that's already gonna be empty and we will need to set it up so that the output of this doesn't just go to a chest, that it goes back into a storage door system perhaps. And we need a better smelting, which is an option. I don't know if it's in the quests, but I'm going to use the hearth coil from embers because why not use more embers? Um, so we're gonna need to set this up so that it connects with the storage drawers for gravel, sand, and dirt. And then it needs to go back into the storage drawers for the output because we also are getting coal, flint, and ember shards that belong in there. But then we're also going to need to store all of these things and then have a way to take just the chunks out and get them smelted and maybe put them back into the storage. That's gonna be fun.